Start a journey into the art of manifestation, where belief goes beyond the limitations of the physical world. This journey challenges the strict frameworks of observable proof and logical reasoning. Here, in this magical world, the invisible is just as important as the visible. It's a process that starts with developing a strong belief in your goal, even without immediate evidence. Manifestation is redirecting attention from what is seen to the possibilities of thought and purpose. While on this journey, you're welcome to participate in our channel, becoming part of a group that delves into the boundless opportunities where dreams and reality mix harmoniously, unlocking inner abilities, and making your deepest wishes come true by believing strongly. Often surpassing the usual limits of our logic-focused society in a realm that strongly values empirical proof and reasonable thought, the idea of manifestation may appear unrealistic. However, it is precisely this step into the seemingly illogical that opens the way to the exceptional talents of manifestation. This practice focuses on the belief in things that cannot be seen or felt. The strong belief in the existence of something beyond what our five usual senses can perceive. In a society that holds scientific evidence in high esteem, adopting such a belief system is similar to swimming against the current. From a young age, we are taught to see the world using logical thinking, the belief that if anything can be logically explained, it then possesses validity. This technique, while a cornerstone in scientific investigation, frequently proves to be a limiting factor in the world of manifestation. Manifestation demands a break from strictly rational thinking, forcing us to tap into a deeper, more intuitive awareness of our reality. To truly harness the power of manifestation, one must establish an unshakable conviction in their vision undeterred by the absence of immediate proof or visible evidence. This journey begins within by developing an attitude of abundance and possibilities. It's about shifting focus from what is visibly present to what may be created through the power of thought and intention. Just like a seed has the promise of a flowering flower, our ideas and beliefs hold the power to actualize our innermost aspirations and affect our reality. In this spiritual practice, we learn to co-create with the universe, aligning our energy with our objectives and allowing the natural flow of life to guide us towards our goals. By accepting the unseen and trusting in the process, we open ourselves to a universe of unlimited possibilities where our aspirations and reality meet in a dance of creation beyond logical limitations. Manifestation, at its heart, is the art of transforming the intangible into tangibles via sheer attention and belief in the non-physical realm. Just as we want you to subscribe to our channel for additional insights and wisdom, we know that deeply rooted in our society is an unwavering dependence on scientific data. Our actions, from adopting new diets to establishing commercial initiatives, are often based on the desire for scientific validation. Recall the moment in childhood when our power to imagine was boundlessly magical. Imagine those moments when, as youngsters, we effortlessly embodied the roles of physicians, astronauts or magicians. These moments weren't just plays, they were strong displays of our infinite imagination, where the concept of reality had no upper limit. Unshackled by the boundaries of our five senses, we constructed worlds and scenarios that effortlessly defied common rules. In those golden years, our inventive prowess wasn't just an act. It was our natural state of being. We imagined without barriers, trusted in the incredible, and paid no respect to the restrictions of logic or reason. Our thoughts were gateways to an unlimited expanse of possibilities, unconfined by the physical world's strictures. Consider the case of a child who is strongly convinced of their imaginary friend's existence. To this toddler, these phantom buddies were as tangible as any real-life playmate. Adults could dismiss this as mere flights of fancy, expecting it to vanish with age. However, the child's conviction remained unwavering. They conversed with their imaginary friends, shared secrets, and even saved seats for them at the dinner table. In the child's world, 
The barrier between the actual and the imagined was elegantly blurred, exhibiting a fascinating feature of human belief. This story isn't simply about childish fancies. It's a vivid demonstration of how belief can affect our perspective of reality. Manifestation, in a sense, is an extension of this great ability to believe and create, a skill we all possessed as infants and can reawaken as adults. It's about rekindling that childlike talent to see beyond the visible, to conceive and actualize what seems impossible by the sheer force of belief and imagination. Harnessing creative belief, this story illustrates our natural power to harness imagination. We have the unique potential to mold our view of reality through our ideas and thoughts, serving as a reminder that reality is not rigid, but flexible. In the area of manifestation, this innate predisposition to embrace imagination emerges as a useful instrument. It indicates that being delusional, in the most positive sense, is not a disconnection from reality, but rather a gateway to a universe of unlimited possibilities, all available through the power of believing. Manifestation rests on the notion that our inner thoughts and beliefs have the potential to affect our exterior reality. It's an idea that invites us to conceive of a reality beyond the boundaries of what is instantly visible and concrete. Just like a painter who first envisions a scene in their head before bringing it to life on canvas, Manifestation needs us to first mentally design the reality we wish for. It's about fostering a vision so vivid and genuine in our minds that it begins to seep into the fabric of our physical environment. This process involves more than just wishful thinking. It asks for a deep-rooted conviction in our abilities to affect and transform our lives. Delving deeper, we learn that the act of manifest Etienne is not just about accomplishing personal wants, but also about harmonizing with the universe's bigger rhythm. It's a dance between our personal ambitions and the cosmic flow, where we learn to align our aspirations with the natural order of things. This spiritual connection is vital, for it assures that our objectives are not merely self-serving, but are in accordance with the universe's ultimate plan. When we manifest from a position of harmony and purpose, we not only accomplish our wants, but also contribute to collective awareness, raising not only ourselves, but those around us. Moreover, engaging imagination in manifestation teaches us about the power of positive thought and the law of attraction. By continually focusing on positive prospects, and maintaining an optimistic perspective, we draw similar energy into our lives. This theory operates on the premise that like attracts like. So by radiating positivity, we become magnets for positive experiences and possibilities. It urges us to be attentive to our ideas and emotions, realizing that they are powerful instruments in constructing our world. In this voyage of manifestation, we learn that each thought we foster and each belief we hold is a step towards creating a life that aligns with our innermost goals and values. Embracing belief in maturity, the path into adulthood frequently announces a profound alteration in our cognitive processes. We find ourselves increasingly impacted by societal expectations, focusing primarily on sensory experiences and the physical parts of life. Manifestation, with its foundation in faith and the intangible, is typically regarded with skepticism during this period. When voicing our aspirations, we're often greeted with demands for proof of their practicality. This widespread demand for rationality leads people to reject their aspirations, especially when they appear too lofty or distant. In adult life, caution and prudence become the governing ideals for many. Life's aspirations are weighed with a sharp eye for empirical data and logical reasoning. It's a pervasive mindset that leads us to constrain our aspirations within the scope of what's thought reasonable and feasible. Consequently, a significant percentage of people find themselves pursuing lives that fall short of their true potential, with their goals tied to the restrictions of realism. However, it is vital to remember that the core of manifestation rests in exceeding these self-imposed constraints. 
It urges us to explore the vast imagination of our infancy, to dream without restrictions, and to believe in the power of our visions. Manifestation is not about abandoning rationality, but about broadening our grasp of what is possible. It's a call to merge the wisdom of age with the creative spirit of our youth. By doing so, we open ourselves to a life that is not merely safe and predictable, but also full of promise and fulfillment. Furthermore, embracing manifestation in maturity can lead to a more complete and enriched life experience. It teaches us the significance of intuition and inner wisdom, enabling us to make decisions that resonate deeply with our true selves. This approach does not negate the relevance of practicality, but rather complements it with a deeper, more spiritual understanding of our path through life. By incorporating the concepts of manifestation into our adult lives, we not only attain our personal goals, but also contribute to a more positive and empowered collective consciousness. This shift of viewpoint is not simply a personal transformation, but a ripple that can inspire and uplift everyone around us, creating a world where aspirations are not just fanciful desires, but tangible realities waiting to be fulfilled. Embracing unconventional belief, the unreasonable quest elegantly captures a significant truth described by George Bernard Shaw. The sensible man adjusts himself to the world. The unreasonable one persists in trying to adapt the world to himself. Therefore, all development depends on the irrational man. This insightful comment underscores the vital function of what may be termed hallucination in the process of manifestation. It's those who audaciously venture outside the bounds of traditional reasoning and reason, continuously thinking and believing in what seems impossible that often achieve astounding milestones in manifestation. On this trip, prudence is thrown aside, making way for the adventurous and illogical to achieve their full potential. In normal conversation, delusion could hold a bad connotation, yet in the context of manifestation, it acquires a deeply significant and good role. To appreciate its essence, a shift in perspective is required. Being deluded in the field of manifestation is not about losing contact with reality or embracing insanity. Rather, it reflects a strong, unapologetic belief in what doesn't yet exist, a brave faith that defies and goes beyond logical constraints. Rational thought, essential in several facets of life, has its limitations on the manifestation path. To materialize your dreams, it's vital to move beyond the confines of extreme realism. In this case, realism offers little value. You are called to create goals that transcend your present reality, targets that may seem excessive or even ludicrous to others. Your current status is only a reflection of your past beliefs and behaviors, not an indicator of your future achievements. It's a creation of a prior self, one who may be oblivious to its full potential. The core of being deluded in the context of manifestation is the courage to steadfastly believe in your dreams, regardless of how unachievable they may seem.